There we go. Live button is now available. All right, here we go. Hello, hacksters. Uh, today I have something super cool to share with you. Uh, it is a beta board from Adafruit, the new Metro M4. And uh, just a quick peek at it before we dive into what this actually is. Um, it's a beautiful board. It's not, it's kind of, it's sort of matte black. It's got some like shiny white stuff on it too, just for aesthetics to start off with. It has this adorable portrait of their ex-cat MOSFET. Um, it's a beautiful trophy. As you might notice, this thing has a NeoPixel on it that's currently blinking green. If you are familiar with some of Adafruit's other boards that are based on the M0, uh, a Cortex M0 chip, um, you might be familiar with the fact that this often signal sig signals <laughs> that uh, some code has been uploaded in CircuitPython. We'll get to that. Um, and it is functioning correctly. So let's take a look at some of the online info for this. First up, here is Adafruit's project, product page for it. It's adafruit.com slash product slash 3382. And they've been updating this with uh, increasingly sort of breathlessly excited information, which I love. Um, you can check out the specs now. Uh, they say, here comes the fastest, most powerful Metro ever. The Metro is basically uh, Adafruit's ongoing sort of Arduino Uno form factor board. Uh, and they've gone from an M0 in boards like the Trinket and the Gemma uh, to the M4 ARM Cortex M4 chip, which brings with it a ton of cool new features. So things like 120 megahertz speed. Um, I'm really excited about the fact that it has built in crypto engines with AES, uh, 256, 256 bit AES and a true random number generator, which is pretty rare for uh, something of this size. It does I squared C, SPI, and UART uh, for serial communications. Um, I learned a new term today, which is MSPS, stands for uh, a million samples per second, or mega samples per second on the digital analog converter, an analog digital converter, which means that it can you know tell what's going on. It's, it checks the state of the pin, uh, a million times a second, which is incredible. Um, some pretty nice specs, 512 kilobytes for flash, 192 kilobytes of RAM, uh, floating point support. Um, really cool things. It has two true analog out pins and 16 PWM pins. That is, as far as I can tell, it's pretty unusual. Like normally you'll get sort of a handful and like that that's really nice, 16 PWM pins. Um, we've also got an on off switch for the DC barrel jack, which is cool because I hate having to like always unplug and plug in things if I'm like, you know, turning a project on or off, that gets really annoying for me. Um, obviously, as I mentioned before, it's got this NeoPixel built into it, and then you can program it with either Arduino code or CircuitPython. If you're not familiar, uh, CircuitPython is this Adafruit custom version of MicroPython. MicroPython being a version of Python that is optimized to run on microcontrollers. Uh, and so, uh, our friend Tony DiCola has uh, worked a lot on CircuitPython, which is Adafruit's version that just adds a few extra bells and whistles that they uh, that they felt were missing from MicroPython. Uh, and this thing is actually pretty beefy, uh, so it can handle quite a bit. Uh, if you scroll down on this page, you can see some of their previous posts about this, which is kind of cool. You get to see um, where their thought process came from. And they tell the story of... Uh, playing around with the ATSMD21 chip, which is the one that is used, the M0 that's used on the Gem M0 and the Trinket M0, uh, and then how <laughs> they wrote to Microchip and were like, hey, is there an upgrade to the 21 that's maybe a Cortex M3 or M4 with more RAM and maybe 100 megahertz? And they're like, sign an NDA. And so then they got like a bunch of these chips as samples. Uh, and promptly built a board with them, which is super cool. You can also check out that link for the data sheet um, if you want to ex explore and investigate further. Super cool stuff. Um, I'm really curious about what's going to be done with his encryption stuff now. Uh, if you're curious about 
you know, the sort of family portrait that this comes from, uh, check out the Gemma M0 and Trinket M0. There's a lot of really nice examples uh, using CircuitPython on these boards. Um, a little bit more about MOSFET. Uh, let's take another look at this board before we jump into that. So yeah, here you've got that NeoPixel, you've got a reset button, you've got this on-off switch, which is beautiful, and I love the fact that it has a micro USB cable because I get so sick of messing around with um, the little box-shaped ones. I think it's USB-A. Uh, could be wrong. <laughs> and uh, just seeing micro USB become the standard is so much better in my opinion. Um, and here you see the two true analog outs, which is super exciting. Oh, oh yeah, uh, this thing can actually handle running a camera, which is really surprising to me and also awesome. <laughs> um, like music and radio applications, all kinds of cool stuff you could do with this. And again, yeah, check out this adorable portrait of MOSFET. Um, it's a better board because as they mentioned on the, uh, on the page, Let's pull that up again. Come back. Uh, it is a it is truly a better, and uh, this is the first development board with this chip, so you can expect excitement, adventure, and oops that doesn't work in this silicon revision um, moments. All right, uh, and then going back to the computer, uh, you can check out a beautiful tribute to MOSFET the cat. Uh, on the Adafruit blog if you search for it. Um, and in the same spirit of celebrating uh, hardware maker cats and pets, there was recently, yes, this is turning into a cat thread, uh, there was recently a thread uh, where people were like, recommend makers for me to follow. Uh, and I got tagged in and someone was like, oh, there's a bonus. I post pictures of my dog sometimes. And it turned into this giant thread of everyone posting all their wonderful cats and doggies and stuff, uh, Scanlime's cat Tuco, uh, and then like these tuxedos, also a bird from Sarah Petkus, uh, the amazing robot wrangler behind Noodle the Robot, uh, you know, more dogs and stuff, I think the bird is maybe my favorite, but like, yeah, a true treasure trove there. Uh, Speaking of which, Evil Mad Scientist also has a cat called Zenner. You can't order Zenner, but you can check out the product page with full specs and everything. Um, if you want to go a little bit back into the hardware side of things, Scanlime, aka Micah, has uh, been creating this camera called the Tuco Flyer and documenting the entire process of that. Uh, it basically uses ropes on these pul this pulley system to fly the camera around the entire workshop space and track Tuco um, as the cat, you know, explores the environment and makes cameos on videos and stuff. Uh, it's a super cool project that's just a ton of fun. Um, as long as we're talking about animals, I have to point out I do not actually have a tattoo. This is a temporary tattoo that Adafruit gave me of uh, Blinka, which is the Circuit Python mascot snake. I'm super excited about this. I put it on on Saturday, basically like five minutes after they gave me it, like in a restaurant because I couldn't wait. And um, yeah, so we, you know, had to do the various glam shots with that. But uh, if you notice on the uh, Metro M4 blog and more, Where'd you go? You've got this wonderful picture of Blinka. And they do actually have a giant, not Muppet, but puppet of, it's very important for copyright reasons that you say a puppet of Blinka that's incredibly well crafted, um, which you can also find on the internet. So if you want to know more about the new Adafruit Metro M4 featuring the microchip at SAMD51, you can go to adafruit.com slash shows where they will be talking about the whole specs of this guy tomorrow, Wednesday, and I believe it's going to be on the show and tell show, but you might as well go ahead and like watch all of the shows anyway, just because why not? Um, it's possible it is on um, the Ask an Engineer, but I think it's on Show and Tell. 
You can nonetheless follow Adafruit on Twitter, of course, on their other channels like um, Google+, Plus. they're also active on there as well, and you'll be able to see when each show is starting and, and catch up with whatever is going on there. So do tune in, go check out the new Metro M4, very excited to welcome this to the family, and I'm excited to run Python on something that looks like this, like that, that's incredible, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah, have a great rest of your Tuesday, see you tomorrow.